Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Let's Play Brigandine Legend of Force, and I am your host, Dr. Sonari, and let's get started with episode 17. I accidentally took 17 last episode, it was actually 16, my bad. Anyway, we are attacking twice this turn. From Orkney, we are going to actually attack with Halley, which I don't usually do, but this is a great opportunity to go ahead and start pushing more into Esgaris. So Orkney to Dilworth is one. Cadbury, I still want to hold off because I was researching it and you have to take Esgaris out completely while taking um, Logaris, the capital, um, as well. So wipe them out, have Logaris uh, among your uh, territory that is taken over, and then lands can become king. So I was mistaken before or was told by somebody. Anyway, um, that's cleared up there. So Cadbury, I'm probably going to hold off just because I don't plan on attacking Lydney from Jukes. There's just no sense in doing that. Over here, here's what I've decided to do. Melligan's team is on the move. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is mix these two teams together to make them more even. Because if you look at Melligan's team, they're kind of hurting physically from uh, monsters. They, they've got good healing power, they've got great magic and ranged. However, they need some physical stuff. Um, so I'll decide that here at the end of the episode probably and show you some more organization stuff if it doesn't last too long. So anyway, enough talking. Let's go ahead and execute the attack and continue our invasion. Are you serious? I'm watching this, man. I'm serious. I'm going to end up watching every Sirleon battle during this playthrough. Kador, huh? Alright. I thought it was up in Lydney. No, that was the last episode. Some interesting dialogue here. Fight between the Death Knight and the Holy Knight. Good stuff. <laughs> you can't take him down, man. Dinadan is just too powerful. It's too good. Alright, so I'm gonna help you guys out a little bit by fast forwarding this. I should have done that last time. So from now on, make these go a little bit quicker that way. He might play it stupid and get surrounded. But we'll see. It's a good thing they're staying put. That gives this squad down here to the south time to get the surround going so with any luck they'll reach them first before uh, Jan Fadar does they should be able to take this no problem just don't expose the mage like you're doing right now uh-huh I saw it coming glad it's not me Man, you are screwing up. I mean, even if they do take out Janfadar, I don't think Sierra Leone's going to retreat just because of the sheer numbers and the levels of the Rune Knights, but it's still unfortunate that they're, you know, playing this stupid. man get in there that Tiamat really scares me too the evolved Hydra those things are nasty I think their breath attack can reach five yeah they can reach five Really? I, I have no comment about that one. <laughs> a giant against a ninja. Come on. It's gotta be like a 2% chance to hit. Oh man. Yeah. Saw that coming. It's too weak. 
I don't know, they just didn't have a good surround this time. See, this is why the surrounds don't usually work. Because it's always going to be two and one. And the one is almost always going to get surrounded and obliterated before the two can get into the fight. They may be able to get in there a little bit, but not enough to get the surround started. It just doesn't happen very often. Okay, I knew they would stay, which is good. So, but he is right up on that time, that Tiamat, whatever however you say it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have a good feeling about it. They may have overstepped their bounds this time. They could have taken it if they weren't so stupid. Enough. Ooh, if you can take that, if you can take that team on out, then they'll probably, almost definitely, retreat. Silence it, please. Oh man, that would have done wonders. Oh no, man. It's still good. I mean, they're they're diminishing the monster count pretty good. It's just that Tiamat. There's another stupid move. I shouldn't get so upset about this. I mean, it is the AI and stuff, but man, it's unfortunate when you know it's your allies trying to do good. It's funny too about the allies between uh, New Elmiki and Sierra Leone. Almost every single time I read a forum on Brigandine, no matter what it is, if you're playing New Elmiki or Sierra Leone, they always betray their allies almost every playthrough. Now, I do that too, just because it's more of a challenge and it's more experience, all that good stuff. Um, but for the sake of, you know, introducing this game as a good, solid playthrough on YouTube. You know, I want to do it right. Especially if there's any newcomers, which I don't think I've seen yet, but just in case, man. These classics deserve some nice notoriety. By the way, I will take this time to mention again, cast your votes for next faction for my next LP because I'm definitely going to be completing every single faction in this game on my channel. Please, please, please cast your vote because I think that would be so cool. Um, if there's no votes, that's cool. I'm totally cool with picking my own faction or probably just go down the line as my original intentions were. But if you do think about it, cast your vote in the comments below, please. That would be cool. Thank goodness that missed, man. Thank goodness. Oh, look at that. Head to head. Man, they are low. It's an interesting fight here. Man. I really wish there was like a full blown anime of this uh of this ser of this game. I think it would be a great series. Dinadan for the win! Yes! Yes! Get out of here! Man, I wish they could have captured that Tiamat. That would have been so cool. Force to be reckoned with this time around, man. My goodness. It's hit or miss whether Celion does good or bad during your playthroughs, and vice versa. This time around, man, they're killing it. God, they wiped them. They wiped them clean, almost. That is great. Alright, I'm in good spirits for this next battle. Is Scalio in face? Okay. 
I'll commentate through this one. This one's not really important to me. However, you know, it might make for a decent episode if we watch everything. So if you do get bored of the automatic battles here, go ahead and skip to, uh, to my battle. We only have one this episode, so up to you. Typical team here, yeah. Iria, Camden, and Buert. No, not Buert, uh, what's his name? Ulster. Kiloff. It's a good night if you can level him up, man. One of the best. Charlene's also a great knight. And so is Raisin. He's, he's decent. Isfis is much better. But Raisin, he's not bad. This might turn out to be a long one. Just because we've got some tanky units on the field, then there's a lot of monsters to uh, fight through. And there's this bridge. We'll see. I might keep it. Time will tell. Bum, 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 bum. I will say that the reason why at least I think the reason why we get so immersed into these classics is because of the music, man. I mean, gameplay and everything being so unique, that's a huge part of it, but to be honest, music just completely throws it over the edge to get immersed into these and make them memorable. You start singing these tunes to yourself, I know you do, don't even lie to yourself. It's just so unique, these tunes. When I look at games nowadays, I mean, the music is great, don't get me wrong, but it's not unique like these classics were, man. Like, the Castlevania series, that was incredible. All of that music is amazing. All the Final Fantasy series, Brigandine, Legend of Ligaia was incredible. It had a lot of those world instrumentation, if you know what world music is. If you don't know Legend of Ligaia, go look that up, I'm going to be putting that on my channel too which I'm very, very excited about. I'm going to be doing a speedrun of that um, because there's already really nice LPs put up for that game right now that I don't even want to touch a normal LP of that game. Um, but I would really, really like to do a speedrun because there's only been one speedrun done of that game. Kilo was already dead? Oh my god! Wow, okay. Anyway... Yeah, I was done with my rant at that point anyway, but gosh, that's kind of surprising. Alright, well this is definitely going to be a short battle. A lot shorter than I thought it was going to be. Just got careless with one of their main leaders. You gotta protect those weak leaders. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Be smarter. Alright. For real? Can I fight soon? <laughs> I just want a chance. 2v2, huh? This ain't gonna last long at all. I don't know if this will be interesting enough to put in here, but still. It'll go quick. We're only at 15 minutes. And I should definitely be able to knock out my battle within that amount of time, so we should still be able to keep it within the half an hour time limit. I call it a limit just because I don't want to go over that much. I remember my first episode of this 
I think was 44 or 45 minutes. I'll have to go back and look. Just because of storyline. But man, it was long. I sat here forever, felt like. Two no-name knights on both teams. Nothing to write home about. I mean, Marriott is a main character, the archer, but still. Weak teams going at it. Not very interesting, but nevertheless, it's a part of the entire conquering of the continent. This could be a fast one for Scalio. Won their last battle, but Sirleon might take it. Hmm. That's never good. A chance to stone? A miss entirely? Oh man, that's that's bad. Come on, Sir Leon. Oh, he's taking the heal over time effect. For those of you who don't know, uh, every turn you stay on that castle, you gain 100 HP. They're putting the hurt on. I think Celion's got this in the bag, no problem. Yeah, they don't have the monster power. They got three ghouls out in the field. Three cannon fodders with some golems, a wyvern, and a mermaid. No. I should have seen this from the start. I mean, there was rock birds, but still. Yeah, I think Sierra Leone definitely had the monster advantage this time around. Oh man, you are going to get surrounded. You better cover yourself. There you go. They're going to lose that triton, aren't they? Shame on you. He is out of the rune area. What are you guys doing? Okay, it's about time for Skyu to retreat. I already see it coming. Gallo leveled up to 10 though, so they should evolve him into a grappler. Retreat, you're done. Uh, maybe not. Kill the dragon. That's huge. Yep. I don't know. It's so funny how it can turn around so easily from your original prediction. It's just because the AI is just so unpredictable in these tactical games. I mean, there are some obvious things that you can definitely pick out of what they will do. But, like, any, anything else just seems so sporadic. You know, they'll take advantage of weaknesses, they'll take advantage of weak monsters, trying to take them down and lessen the count. But, anything beyond that, really, very unpredictable. Okay, this guy who's got it. Maybe I don't. I don't know. I just don't know anymore. <laughs> We're approaching 20 minutes. We gotta knock this out of the park.
Hmm. Oh. Didn't expect it. I really didn't. I thought they would just duke it out until one night went down. What? No. You had that. You had that. Oh, man. Well, you took one, so I'm not... I'm not disappointed, but just... Man, come on. You had that. Alright, it's my turn. Mage is in front. Good deal. But, no, we got this. Okay, so this is a very, very rough terrain, obviously. So what we need to do is take advantage of this mountain range with my wyverns. Send them up here to where they cannot traverse, except with their wyverns, of course. So if I can get good positioning... I'll have a really, really easy time with this, but in any case, we need to get you in front, girl. Let's go. Alright, we're going to place a mountaintop. Demon can go up there too, which is great. Good old Gish. How many times do I got to see his face, man? Just... Stop showing up. Annoying little mage. He really needs help with his rune area. It's terrible. What is it? Three? Yes, it's three. One, two, three. Plus, of course, if you take advantage of your flying monsters going on top of the mountains, you can free up a lot of a lot of space that could be clumped up within this little valley here. So just be smart about your placement on these rough terrains and you'll be good. Okay, so what are your monsters? Dragon, you need to go in front. You can take the front line as well. wanted you to, but no problem. Yeah. Any movement? Probably not. count that like every time. Oh, there is movement. Holy crap. Normally they don't initiate that soon. <laughs> but he just... I knew he was going to do it. I knew it. Hey, man. Come on. All right, that's fine. I, I needed a short battle anyway. So... Who needs to... He's got all physicals. I mean, it's fine. I don't care. This is supposed to be a defending team anyway. Yep, and you have the rune area, so yep. We're just going to be able to take out the leader with... Uh, we're just going to nuke him to death. Plus, he's poisoned. I mean, Geesh is not even going to be able to get a spell off. Yeah, he already took his turn. Yep, yeah, they're done. Okay, Hallie, you've got the first shot. And you got a black spear, right? No, no, that's Iria. Never mind. But you still have a lot of attack. That was a critical. Good job. Let's curse him. I want to try to get the experience with Kirkmon if possible. Uh, curse might kill him, though. What? I don't care. Almost. Almost. 
Okay, dragon. Guaranteed hit down the line with acid breath, and you're done. Later. And you shouldn't be so stupid. Whoa. Got a Fenrir. Man, I am lucky out with these evolved monsters now. Pegasus first, then the Fenrir. I'm down with that. I'll finagle that into the team uh, here afterwards. Alright, let's get a few more experience going on. Uh, who do I hit? Who's got the higher agility? He's got 76. Rockbird has 65. I know Wyvern has a lot more. No. 66. Well, no, in any case. Yeah. It's a slim chance, no matter what. Alright, Rockbird. Let's try that again. Maybe I can get some uh, extra experience with uh, Kirkmon here after all. Try to kill him off. So let's go ahead. Pop him with a Hydra. I don't think it's going to be enough. Hmm. Nope, ain't going to be enough. That's cool. I'll try, at least. Close, 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 close. Alright, I'm just gonna end my turn. Dillard. Man, that thing is completely surrounded. I'm not gonna be able to kill it. Whatever. Just attack the leader. Because I feel crazy right now. Don't ever, ever, ever do that if they're going to stick around, if you know they're going to stick around. <laughs> it's such a stupid move. <laughs> Alright, man. You're done. Get out. Thank you. Bye-bye. Guys, we are very, very close to taking out Esgaris. We might even be able to take them out <laughs> before Leonia. That would be something else. Alright, that's all the battles. Cool. We are still within the 30 minute time limit, so we are good to go on episode 17. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me so long. So, remember, cast your votes in the comment section below to what faction you want me to play as next after I finish up with New Elmikia here. Um, if I don't get any votes, I will pick myself. No problem with that. So, catch you in episode 18. Thanks again for joining me. Have a good day.